Uh, what a nice day out in Zareth Mortis. That's such a beautiful life being a Fist Weaver. You know, we get ancient teachings. We have sinister teachings if we want. We get so much value out of Red Rising Sun Kick. What are we doing? Why are we here? Why are we in Orbos? Why are we talking to this lady? We don't need to talk to her. We're Venthyr. Okay, come on now. You didn't have to do all that. Come on now. I mean, I guess I can get used to this. It's not a big change, but I'll have to do a little bit more healing myself. Okay. My talents. What are you doing? In a okay, that's just disrespectful. I mean, it's not bad. I can get used to these. Life cycles? What the hell is life cycles? What does they even do? Healing elixir? Are you kidding me? Okay, now that's just wrong. That's just wrong. You can't get rid of rising mist. What do you do? Dude, okay, you can't be serious right now. What do you expect me to do? Not punch and kick the boss? What are you doing? Healing, get that shit off of my bar right this second. Okay, don't even touch my... Don't touch my brand new 291 legendary, I swear to God. Oh my God, I'm getting heated. What are you doing? What are you doing? Now we don't have a legendary. There's no other good... What the heck? Okay, guys. Sorry for that long-winded intro. Um, as you can see today, you know, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to be trying to do a key where we're completely misweaving. We're playing this spec how Blizzard wants us to play it. Um, and we're going to be playing as a ranged misweaver. So my build is pretty different. I'm running a different legendary tier of morning. We're going to be have to we're going to have to hit um, the people that we have renewing mist. We're going to have to hit them with some vivifies try to spread that out and then also our our vivifies um, through the renewing mist are going to be buffed. So uh, we went with a slightly different build. We have a lot more mastery as you can see. Um, sacrifice quite a bit of verse cuz you know we're going to be casting our ranged spells um, I'm nervous. I told these guys, hey, I'm recording a video. Um, but hey, look, what more fitting key than a Mist of Tyranna Scythe? Um, I have one guildmate, uh, the Paladin Tank, uh, and then the rest are randoms. Um, I'm pretty nervous. I've never played this legendary before. But hey, uh, you know what? Let's let's see if we can pull it out. It's just so weird. I'm nervous. Uh, so if you notice right here, I took my tiger palm off my bar completely in favor of crackling jade lightning because we are going to be playing at range. We are going to be, oh God, speaking of range, this is a horrible week to do it. Oh my God. I've already died. Holy, uh, you can tell I'm just not used to casting these spells. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna revival and we're gonna bounce back. So that's just what we do. That's what we do as a Miss Weaver. We're gonna. We're just gonna heal. That's all we need to do. Don't need to focus damage. We have pretty damage heavy comp. And we're gonna throw out a little Jade Lightning. Just because we can. Okay. Okay. All is well. I'm gonna. I'll get in and do one kick, because I am still allowed to do a kick. Okay, we are skipping, it looks like. Um, okay. Jesus Christ. I am so nervous, dude. I don't, like, I'm not used to this playstyle. I'm not used to all these abilities. Um, I mean, obviously I've cast a lot of these spells before. It's just, like, the sequencing, the playstyle, everything is different. Because now we're going to be playing, like, a, uh... A resto druid. Jesus, that essence font takes forever. Okay, so let's heal our renewing mist targets. And let's see if we can spread those out. You know what? Let's see if we can pump a little damage. Oh yeah, that 670 tick was horrible. Yeah, we're doing true Miss Weaver damage right now. Yikes. Okay, so that pool, I mean, we're looking a little better. We obviously, 
I don't know. It's obviously so much worse. It might take a long time to get used to, and I'm hoping that our tank starts to kind of fall over a bit so that we're truly challenged. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to apply all those easy hots due to Essence font channels forever with this town. I kind of hate it. Um, and then we're going to get our Soothing Mist and our Jade Servant statue on our tank. Then we're going to try to pump some damage while we wait for our cooldowns to come back. Refresh our hots on the tank. Okay, we got Furious Thrashing. This should be where we specialize, is this big uh, group-wide damage. We're going to Weapons of Order, get that bigger Essence font to come out. And, okay, we are just swimming in hots right now. But we are not swimming in damage, is the problem. Now, I did say that we can um, do some... Oh god, I can't even talk and focus. I'm not used to this. I did say that we can we can rising uh, or I mean spinning crane kick and rising sun kick. So um, those are definitely legal with these little rules that I've come up for no reason with. Um, okay, let's get into this boss. Just drink a little bit of sippy sip before we go. Now this is gonna be the weird part. We are in ranged, uh, of course. Our DPS pools. Um, so, I mean, this boss isn't actually that bad to do range damage on. Um, so, any chance that we get, we're going to be clicking Crackling and Jade Lightning. Now, an already, already apparent issue with this plan is Crackling Jade Lightning is the worst spell in the entire game. And I know there's probably worse spells, but, like, I am standing by that. It is so bad. And it's kind of unreal how Blizzard has let it stay in the state that it's in um what i mean by that let me let me go into that for a second it does butter damage look at that thousand eight hundred does nothing it's like it's worse than tiger palm so let's let's get in let's do some rising sun kicks spinning crane kicks uh let's apply our hots because people are taking down it does no damage whatsoever um we're gonna double essence font and what they could have done to, to kind of bring it, you know, into actual existence in the game is they could have given it a legendary. Just imagine a Crackling Jade Lightning legendary where um, anytime you cast it, maybe like if you get its full channel off, it gives like a burst of damage or something. Um, or maybe it chains to multiple targets because it is lightning. I mean, it chains to people, right? Um like something like that like a, an actual buff but no they they kind of just have left it i mean there's literally never a point to press this spell unless you're doing a sub optimal play style like i'm doing currently or unless you're playing like tank spec and need to pool something maybe um yeah so this is kind of the, the weak spot. I mean, I, I kind of took Tiger Palm off our bar for no reason. Like, I didn't have to do that. But I kind of just wanted to challenge myself and um, try to play as a range spec. But you can already see I'm kind of trying to dip in and get some kicks off because it is just nothing. It is zero damage. So far, this legendary, I have, like, honestly, I haven't even noticed it. Let's see if we can get it to spread. No spread there. Yeah, I don't know. This playstyle, obviously, it's inferior. Okay, I'm finding out. Now, the the real test, I guess, would be how does it hold up in, um, in Raid? Which, that would be kind of fun to test. To let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that video. I know it's a little early for these types of calls, but hey. What can I say? I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to hit that grind, you know? I'm getting close to... F My dog agrees, dude, so hit that subscribe button. Um, but I'm trying to hit um, 500 subscribers. I think I'm at 440 at the time of um, recording this video. We're getting really close, so um, hit subscribe if you haven't already, because, hey, look, there aren't many Miss Weaver YouTubers, so just support the ones that exist, you know what I mean? Um, let us know that you're still with us, you're still playing this spec alongside us, and... Let us know it's not a waste of time to make this com content. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But, yeah. We're going to try to get a video like this out for Raid. 
Um, so far these spreads just are not happening. But then again, I'm trying to I'm trying to hold jet, uh, crackling jade lightning as much as possible. Um, so I'm not sitting there spamming on the target. Okay, it looks like we're just going full on this target. I've been talking too much, but okay. That was pretty brutal. Okay, our healing wasn't horrible, but most of that's just Essence Font. Um, now, I will say Essence Font just does a ton of healing already, so that's not much different. And maybe it's kind of because we had Weapons of Order. Um, yeah, so far we are very much experiencing the lack of damage um, that we get from being in melee and just being incentivized to punch and kick. One thing that that like just ramps up our damage a ton is that we're allowed to do damage and heal at the same time like rising mists is one reason but also um ancient teachings is like the big one it's like why would we stop doing damage if we're also healing while doing it you know what i mean but here like i get nothing out of rising sun kick it doesn't buff our healing at all um so it's just you know we're missing out on some some easy free damage, but hey, we're we're trying something new and maybe maybe it could work in raid. Maybe it works here. Maybe we, we still time this. Cause one thing about this is we're doing like better job of healing. Cause that's what I'm like really focused on. Um, it's so, like we are gonna keep everyone up more except for that one death that i had at the beginning of the dungeon that y'all have already forgotten about hopefully um so hopefully like you know we can get more damage in that way because everyone feels safer and they're you know they don't have to spend a global healing you know i just i don't know i'm, I'm grasping at straws but whatever dude that essence font <laughs> channel is insane okay we got a reset there um we're gonna we're gonna throw out this range spinning crane kick. I mean, it does have a lot better range. One actual tip you can take away from this video other than the, the nonsense it's been already is whenever like you have to pull off of a boss, like let's take Skolex for example. Oh, dude, I'm a range dealer. I should have been doing that. Um, let's take Skolex, the worm boss this raid, for example. Um, come on, let us go. He'll summon swirlies in melee, so you kind of have to pull off the boss, and you can't punch and kick. But hey, if you're still trying to optimize damage, Rising Sun Kick has a longer range, so it's um, it's actually more optimal to press that, you know. So like anytime you have to pull off of a boss for a second, it's not a bad idea to press Rising Sun Kick, and that's that's your tip of the video. Now the rest of it is going to be hey, don't play this legendary. <laughs> um, that was weird. He's not in range. Okay. I'm not even I'm I'm hovering over them, but I'm not even paying attention. Okay, someone was, so that's good. Oh also we have a uh a, a hacker exposed. Just kidding. I don't care that people use that. Let's get some value out of this stupid legendary man. Okay, now we're doing some healing. Let's see it. We also have Yulon that we have not utilized yet. Um, but god, that healing is insane. One thing I will say about uh, Jade Serpent Statue or whatever this, this totem is, it kind of pumps healing. I've been using it in PvP and that's kind of what made me want to make this video. Is like I kind of like that talent a little bit. I, I like it in keys a little. I don't know, it's just fun. Um, but it does a ton of healing. And especially when you have all of your hots and it rolling on a single target, it can you can really keep someone alive, and I do like that. But so far, dude, these other talents have not been it. Oh, I'm supposed to be ranged. Crackling Jade Lightning, bad spell. We had we had to go weak or why are we not using it? Okay, let's apply these hots, pump them up a bit, and then we're gonna channel. We're gonna try to get a stun off. We didn't get the stun in time, but we're gonna revival that because no one likes to be rooted. You know, speaking of that, I uh, recorded a video recently where I just talked about um, 
Miss Weaver utility and how we actually do have quite a bit and a lot of people sleep on the ones the the utility that we do have uh, but I never posted it because uh, you know I don't know some videos you kind of just know we're gonna get some backlash and um, people who are stuck on their opinions are gonna stay stuck on their opinions so um, while we channel Essence font for a year, I uh, figured I'd, I'd go into that a bit. Um, but yeah, just never posted it. Let me know if you want to see it because we do have some insane utilities. Some of our utility spells, we don't have many, but the ones that we do have are some of the best in the entire game. So um, yeah, let me know if you want to see that. Stay away from lines. Uh, stay away from lines. Easy enough, we are a ranged healer. Oh yeah. See look, we are weaving the mists and the lightning apparently. You know my my monk's name is Hinata, but it should be named Azula. Now I will say one redeeming quality, probably the only redeeming quality about crackling jade lightning, is that it doesn't cost mana. And um, I can take that. It is non filled. Yes, come on. Okay, we didn't get a patty cake in right. Come on, Soul Shatter, what are you doing? We're gonna channel a massive essence font. Look at this dude. Infinite channel. We're gonna channel a second one while we're at it. Oh, we got a spread. I just saw it. We got a spread. Stay away from the Um let's see if we can get a fifth person out. One thing though that people sleep on uh, when healing as a Miss Weaver is you don't always have to use a cooldown on big packs. If you've had time to ramp up your Renewing Mist, and you have it on like three or four targets, even five targets you can get it on, um, you can really just sit there and spam Vivify, and it's almost like you're casting Trank, uh, like Tranquility of the Druid spell. Because <clears throat> you'll just be pumping heals on everyone. Oh, someone broke Paralysis. I mean, I will say, do Mist Weaving kind of boring. I kind of miss punching shit. Um, Stay away from lines. I'm not even facing. How am I shooting lightning out of my side? Um, yeah, this is just all in all a very weird video. But hey, you know what? This is the class that they designed. And, you know, with our limited options in um, Legendaries, it's kind of um, expected that we'd have to move to something like this to get us an alternate playstyle. Our options are very limited as a Miss Weaver. Pop our trinket. Yeah, so I, I've been very slow on the uploads lately. Um, we've been playing playing a lot. Uh, grinding a lot, doing a lot of raid and mythic plus. Uh, nothing like this, but you know. But my question, to you guys, is what what have you guys been up to? Um, a couple of you have been commenting on my old videos, you know, going back and watching those. Really appreciate that. We're not even gonna exile that guy. <clears throat> really appreciate that. Um, you're helping me out a ton. You're getting me some outreach, which is nice. And I love making YouTube videos, so. If I could just grow a little bit more and get this to be a full-time thing, I would absolutely love it. I think I'm doing that too soon, maybe. Oh, I saw that stack. Watch my essence font when I don't use it. Oh, God. Come on, Zolea. Stay alive. Stay with us. Stay with us. Luckily, I was ready to channel a heal because I'm out in range. Nothing else to do. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can save Cocoon for the tank. There's Revival. Stay away from we'll take it. Yeah guys, what have you been up to? What kind of videos do you want to see? I mean, right now it's kind of just, here's Miss Weaver, you know. I can make more guides. I mean, I know that we've kind of been in a weird spot where we don't know what we're going to play. Um, so I could make some guides. I can make some... Uh, a Venthyr guide, I can make some like double legendary guides. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. Let's see if we can finish this boss out. Normally this is like an okay time. The bosses on this um, this 
dungeon take an like an hour each. So it's it's nice having like 12, 13, maybe 14 minutes uh, to be able to time on a Tyrannical Week. Uh, but you know what? We got some grade A pumpers in our group, including myself, baby. Here we go. Spinning Crane Kick. Let's see it. Rising Sun Kick. Back to our, quote, range spell. Oh, yeah, we're pumping. Look at those numbers. 2.6k. We are a ranged Mistweaver Monk, baby. Here we go. <clears throat> you know, I'm joking around, but actually in that, in that Plaguefall video that I um, showed like the stats for earlier, that slime pull at the very beginning, like in the first boss room, I got like 10k, 12k DPS just from spinning crane kick. I threw down Fallen Order, let that do the healing for me, and just spinning crane kicked to my heart's delight, and it was very nice. I loved it. We're going to throw down a totem. We are just charging ourselves up to do some healing. Okay, we got tagged. Oh god, it's so bad. People got booped. There's an invisible boop. I haven't even used a uh, healing elixir. That's how bad that is. It's so bad. Okay, we see the boops. We will dodge the boops. Can't heal the tank, so we're gonna throw a cocoon on him. Preemptive measure. It is a shield, by the way, so. Oh, I guess an absorb is going to be technical. Oh my god. There you go, Bob. I think he... Oh, I wasn't even watching. I'm not going to say what he did. Okay, we're going to throw down Yulon, and we're going to just sit here and pump the tank. What do you say? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is double pull. It's, it's classic. We're going to heal Primal, whatever that is. We're not going to get booped. We are better than that, because we are ranged Mist Weavers. I still have a stun. Let's start using some utility. Uh, let's just... Hmm. I don't know. What can we do here? Man, we are really running. Oh yeah, there's a target. Come on. Stay with me. <clears throat> Alright, that was a fun one. Wouldn't be a... A key, yeah, see, can't see shit, yeah. That one knockup that killed like half our group and kind of tanked that pool was definitely invisible. I mean, you guys can watch it back. Y'all have that power. I do too, but I like to think I'm right. Um, I'm just kidding. Let's see. I could have paired one of these guys, but that would just kind of delay us being in combat with them. So, I don't know. I think I was nudging to where I'm stuck toward them, so I, I just, I think I pulled, I don't know, someone pulled. Alright, time is 9 minutes, let's time it. This is only a 14, because, um, I mean, it's just the key that I had for the week, and I figured this playstyle will be worse. I guess I shouldn't have assumed so, but I think I was correct in doing so. Um... But, I mean, still, 14s aren't that different than 15s, if I'm being honest. Um, I've been able to time both without much of an issue. Oh, we're definitely going to die here? Oh, yeah, we died. Oh, yeah, that was a, a sweet little combo for us right there. <clears throat> but, yeah, 9s aren't... Or, 9s. 14s aren't uh, the easiest thing in the world, obviously, because they're kind of... They're right next to 15s. But they're not, like... They're not, you should be able to time them at basically most skill levels. You can kind of face roll your keyboard and play in a suboptimal style of play and you should be fine. I am, the more that I've been playing this, I mean it's very boring in keys, this, this play style, so I'm sorry for making you guys watch it, um, but hey, it's, it's kind of a fun little gimmick. One thing I will say is I'm very excited to try this in Raid. I might actually go ahead and film that video right after this one. So if you've already commented down below that you want to see that, congrats. Um, you win, I guess, or lose, I don't know. But these long Essence font channels, see it just ticking up. The longer it stays on cooldown, the longer the channel will be. That to me seems like really good in Raid, because Essence font's already like a ton of our healing. So, especially once you get the two-piece set, which I don't have, by the way, that will just do a, that'll rack up some heals. Look at that. 18 stacks, I don't even know what it means. We can check real quick, life cycles. No, nope. upwelling. 
So we'll channel for three additional seconds. And then the hot is four extra seconds. But that's three extra seconds of it channeling onto different people in raid, which is nice. Um, yeah, so that'll be fun. Maybe we can really utilize the uh, the legendary more. Kind of haven't been able to. It doesn't really spread that much in, in uh, keys. Let's just pump in ourselves so we can get it to spread. It has a 10% chance per cast. No. Unfortunate. That's okay. Pull the boss. We have a pump or healer, dude. What are we doing? Range spell. Oh man, we got 1% left. Yeah, boss first. One thing that we're doing right here, which is optimal, is we're pulling boss first, even though we still have a percent. And I know a lot of people don't like to do that. But if the next pack you get uh, would put you over percent, technically you're just doing extra damage. Like if you think about it, you have, you know, X amount of health of damage that you have to do in a key to get percent. Like you have to kill, say, 100 mobs each with 100 health. What is that? That's like... Oh, don't do math live. Come on now. Uh, 10,000 health total that you have to do. But if you, you know... If that last pack that you pull, you kind of pump some damage into some extra mobs. That's just wasted time, wasted damage. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're just being optimal. This way, after we kill the boss, we can just pump into one add, you know, put like a marker on it. Um, yeah. There's another tip in a, a very tip-worthy video. See, and it's also weird because, like, I have my hots rolling on, on me and, and the shaman. But, like, I don't want to sit there and pump into them. It's kind of like it incentivizes you to pump people, like, vivify people that don't have renewing mists. You know, that's our passive is, like, hit the people that don't have it so that... What am I saying? So that the people that do have it will also get healed. Um, but the legendary kind of says the opposite. It's like, hey, if you heal the people with it, um, it'll spread. And it's like... I don't know, I kind of want to use the guaranteed value of um, what we get from our, our current passive, which is like just, like if I heal the, the Paladin, I'm also healing these people that have the mess on them. See them getting like a, a mini vivify. So I, I don't know, I mean, in raid, that's what I'm saying, like you have co-healers that can really um, help you. So that way, like if you don't get these procs, you don't like get punished. But in, in, in a party this size, you kind of just want to... If you get guaranteed healing, just do the guaranteed healing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Healing elixir. Healing elixir number two. Hey, there we go. We used it. Okay, once we get a little closer to killing, we're actually going to go pool for our, our tank, which is a big no-no. However, this guy is really cool. He always is chatting in my guild, so I don't think he'll mind, especially if it means... You know, trying to... If I'm just trying to time the key. Which we're close. Hey, I mean, we can say we, we timed our first ever key as a true misweaver. You know, one that Lily Storm Stout would be proud of. Get off of me. Can't look at a ranged misweaver like that and get away with it. Come on now. Mm. Okay, so we're the healing. Mm. Zero procs from the from the legendary. Mm. Luckily, I only wasted 50 gold on that legendary, so I am not bothered at all. Um, also, I can... I don't know why I bought one off the auction house. I can actually craft that legendary, so... Um, okay, we are kind of getting our ass eaten, but never fear. The squad is here. Plus, you know what? Who doesn't like get all... Oh god, we lost one. Oh god, things are falling apart. We're gonna... Cocoon there, we're gonna heal you because you have a renewing mist on. We're gonna get some value out of our non existent legendary. Come on now. Oh, yeah, we're pumping. Oh, yeah, that range damage right there. Easy. So, we need 0.38. We can kill one miniature ad. We're gonna leave Zalea on the ground. Sorry, bud, and the shaman. We're, we got some damage to do. Here we go. I saw a touch of death too, so we can just. We're gonna mark this sucker up. 
No, we're not gonna heal. We're gonna put our trinket on it. What our trinket does is, whenever someone damages that, they kind of get life steal. So that way we can just pump the damage and let the trinket do the healing for a second. And boom. hey, we timed it. Look, Miss Weaver is truly the best class. You can play a suboptimal level and out heal a great paladin tank. This tank is awesome. Look how much damage she did. Jesus Christ. One thing that doing this like ton of healing, like I was saying earlier, is it allows our damage dealers to do their job, which is damage. And they definitely delivered. That is a ton of damage. No changeling, but let's see. Let's see. McNail got changeling. Let's be the annoying guy. Um, need that? Please, I'm, I'm just a lowly misweaver. What did our paladin friend get? Nothing we'll need. Oh, we're getting a changeling. Dude, Miss Weaver's broken. Oh. Sick. We got an updated changeling. Look, we're going from 246 up to... I'm about to upgrade this sucker. Oh, yeah. Dude, this video all of a sudden became worth it. You know what? If you like this video, even for the surprise twist ending of, you know, it being actually worth it, hit... Hit like, dude. Just hit subscribe, hit like, hit do all that. We're getting so close to 500 subs. After we get 500 subs, I will be doing a 12-hour live stream over on Twitch. I have the same username, um, so go ahead and pre-follow there if you want to. Um, but if not, I'll post a video here that we're going live for 12 hours. I'll be running keys with you guys. I can raid with your guild if you'd like. Um, it'll be a ton of fun, so just you don't want to miss out. Um, and yeah, let's let's hit that threshold. We're so close. Just, just help me get there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of this video, of this trash playstyle um, down below, and let me know your favorite color. If you haven't already commented, just comment your favorite color because I'm kind of running out of colors to put um, around the border of my little thumbnails, so it'd be great to know some of your favorite colors so I know what's like appealing to the eye because I need people to click on my videos because I'm, I'm a dirty YouTuber now. That's what I do. So yeah, thank you so much, and I'll catch you in the next video.